hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel so today what I'm trying to do is uh, show you how to run DeepSeek on Amazon Bedrock which is Amazon's uh, AWS powerful AI service for deploying foundation models so we'll set it up test it and see it in action so before we start let's discuss why Amazon Bedrock right so it's full managed service you don't need to uh, manage an infrastructure or maintenance then data is secured and private so if you're worried about your data being in China because you want to use this deep six but in this case your data is does not leave the Amazon environment so it's secured and seamless integration with let's say you want to build an app on top of uh, you using that AI model so it, uh, you can build your app within the AWS environment and integration will be very easy and you can start using multiple models you know you just don't have to use DeepSeek there they have many many models uh, in the and compliance and governance built-in support for AWS IAM, VPC, CloudTrail, which will make it easier to enforce access controls and monitor the usage. So those are the main points I would say, and let's go see how we can set it up. All right, so we're gonna click on Amazon Bedrock. Then we're gonna go to Weave Model Catalog. So we're gonna expand uh, this section. We're gonna click on DeepSeek, filter by DeepSeek. And here you have few models. So based on different different sizes. So if you so if you see this is. So you can choose any of them. Uh, I'm just gonna choose the 1.5e just because it's very low, very lightweight, and it'll help us uh, deploy faster. So click there. this to probably mlg 52 2x large just because we don't need it and in advanced settings again we do have the option of deploying it onto a vpc and then select your subnets we recommend adding one subnet for each uh, availability zone in the region and then security groups and also an option of selecting an existing service role or create and use new on the go uh, seems like I ran last time so it's created one for me so I'm gonna just start using that and click deploy over here as you can see it says deployment in progress so I'm gonna see how long it takes and stop the video right now and get back so it took like uh, five minutes for it to get to the status where from creating into in service and now we're gonna check it out just select it over here the radio button and then click open in playground and what is your name it's replied with deep seeker one
given the description description and and it's writing it there you go so basically it wrote generate a random number and print it with the random date so that's one thing done. and there you go so, so all done now now we're gonna clean it up and it's easy so we're gonna click on that and click delete and then confirm that's it all right make sure to clean up your deployments after testing because there there are cost implications so refer to the cost documentation before you go and make sure it's all cleaned up thank you so much